Earlier this week, I made a wager. If people donated a total of $500 to my Dancing with the Anchors campaign, that I would wear this pink cowboy hat I've been practicing with for a segment on this weekend's news. I figured they wouldn't be able to do it, and alas, here I am. <laughs> like a rhinestone bachelorette party cowboy here. I figured it was a good chance for us to talk about what Anchor Center does. You know, Danielle and I are dancing for Dancing with the Anchors coming up on April 23rd. And we have someone here today. Well, first of all, let's just bask in the glory of the hat for one more <laughs> second. Thank you. Today, Megan Klassen's joining us. She's the executive director of the Anchor Center. My very first question out the gate is, what do you think of the hat? I Pretty mean, good. I think it suits you. It is does. It? <laughs> he looks working. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Anchor Center is such a special place. We would love you if you could tell us more about your mission. Absolutely. Thanks for the opportunity. So the Anchor Center is um, a center that serves children ages birth to five who are blind or have visual impairments and their families. So we have several programs that we conduct on site for infants and toddlers and preschoolers, as well as an eye clinic where a pediatric ophthalmologist conducts eye exams. And then our providers also see children and families in their homes. What I'm blown away with every time I visited Anchor Center, it's, you know, the kids get so much out of the experience, but really the families and the parents of these kids who kind of walk in without a whole lot of hope and, and, and like really nervous, walk away with that hope. That's exactly it. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard that from parents and caregivers, that the Anchor Center provided hope for them at a difficult time. So the ages from birth to five are a really critical time in children's development. So part of our model includes providing strategies for parents and caregivers to use in the home so that they can be working on this stuff in the home in the child's natural environment and routine. So, but they also get to come to the center and socialize with other children and parents, which is also a huge support system for them. Megan was with us on Friday when we hosted an avalanche watch party at DNVR Sports Bar. We raised a little bit of money for my campaign uh, for dancing, which I'll never catch up to Danielle Grant. So. <laughs> We're just going to put that out there. She's a master fundraiser. But one of the things that I was amazed by, how many people walked up to both of us and said, you know, my, someone in my family yes. was impacted by Anchor Center. It is crazy because it's a low incident disability. So not that many people of the general population have a vision impairment. But there is some kind of magic and blessing about finding each other. Like just people have connections different ways and they always find us. And I'm so grateful for that. Yeah, it's and pretty incredible. You made this comment earlier, but this is really something with the whole family, not just the individual, but the whole family. Absolutely. So, of course, we're providing services to the child, but the child's caregiver is going to be in their life a lot longer than we are. Right. So we're trying to give them strategies and interventions that they can use, again, at home with the child, in their natural environment, and for the rest of their lives when we're not part of it anymore. So so I want to hear about this event you guys say, have planned in. Here's this a little tease. Fun. Yours truly will be dancing to <laughs> Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Oh, my. Uh, coming up on oh April my. 23rd. Uh, by the way, if you want a, a vote, you can text the word DANCE to 303-871-1491. We'll send you the links to both me and to Danielle, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll, we'll get that all sorted out. But uh, w what does this do for your organization when you can have a fundraiser like this? It? So it's huge. Um, our, we are funded over 97% by private donors and events like this. So, so we need these dollars to keep our doors open and keep serving families for forever. All right. Sounds like a lot of fun, too. I think so. I think it's going to be a great time. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see. I can't guarantee that this hat will be uh, there. You were looking for another one. I've got, I have another one. one. It was just delivered to the uh, the house the other day. I'm so, so glad that you lost whatever bet you lost to have to wear that on live. <laughs> I said $500 in 24 hours and we made 684. People it. are incredibly generous and we That's cannot cool. thank them enough. 303-871-1491. Text the word dance to that number. We will tell you how to donate. Megan Klassen, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you, guys.